When they finally put that prosthetic chest piece on me with those breasts, and um, when I did look at the reveal on that one, I looked at myself in the mirror, I thought, my God, this is the most ridiculous costume I've ever worn. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Sure. I'm a little down. Why? What's the matter? Do I look fat in this? <laughs> I think the year that I did Humpty Dumpty was, was one of the most difficult be simply because the costume was so cumbersome. I mean, once you finally got that on and it came in a lot of different pieces and over the head and up the bottom and once you got it on you were basically helpless. Because of the complexity of a lot of these costumes, the first thing I do when I run in from the show to get dressed for Halloween, I go to the bathroom. Because that is your last chance for about an hour and a half. Because between doing the show and then doing post-show interviews and all that, if you have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the Humpty Dumpty costume, you're going in the Humpty Dumpty costume. Robin! Yes! Are you getting a bat wedgie like I've I am? I've got a bat wedgie like you wouldn't believe, Batman! I think Batman was probably the most interesting entrance that Al and I ever made. This was back during the time we were still doing buddy costumes. So we did, you know, the, the Flintstones together. We did Gilligan's Island together. And then we did Batman. And first of all, the, the costumes were amazing. The idea that we actually got to rappel down the side of the studio wall, the glass wall of the studio was amazing. We went out there before any crowd arrived at like 5.15 in the morning just to try that in our street clothes to make sure we weren't going to kill ourselves or swing too far out and come through the window. <laughs> And that's the act! All right. In the months leading up to Halloween every year, we, we meet and we talk about what is everyone talking about? What, what are the things that captured the attention of the pop culture world? And clearly that year, that dress on J-Lo was one of those things. I know! I just remember the door, the door of the limo opening, and because the dress was so tight, I had to swing my legs out onto the sidewalk, and I just remember hearing the roar of people who saw, and I thought maybe they saw too much. Ladies and gentlemen, Paris Hilton! When I walked out as Paris, I got a, a, a similarly ridiculous response, but I thought that was fun. I think of the three episodes dressing as a woman, that was probably the least provocative. So the uh, piece de resistance was probably last year, and, and I say that because now I am, last year was a 55-year-old man, dressing up as Pamela Anderson a la Baywatch. Is someone drowning? I brought my cans. <laughs> CJ's here. Here we go with the prosthetics again. Um, thank you, Saturday Night Live, and that swimsuit. And um, I thought one of the things that made it most fun last year, to be honest with you, was having Carmen Electra here. Uh, there was something about that where she made it okay. Um, because she has such an incredible sense of humor about herself and that period of her career. And so coming out through that wall with, those, with that stupid, ridiculous floating device type thing, um, I don't know. I think that one probably freaked my kids out more than any of the other two because they're old enough to say, Dad, this is the third time. Um, could you stop doing this because the kids at school are giving us a hard time? <laughs>